Hey everyone, it's Amber here with Good Girl Golf. Thanks for joining me for our wellness series where we're gonna do a series of stretches and workouts to really help improve your golf game, just keep you limber, mobile, and strong so you can be powerful on and off the golf course. So um, welcome to beautiful Agar, South Dakota. We are at Sutton Bay Golf Course and it is just stunning here. So we're gonna start in our cat-cow position to just really get that back and that spine warmed up. So first you wanna engage those abs, pull them into the spine, and we're going to arch that back and look up, round that back, looking down. Do this at your own pace, just really loosen up your lower back and those hips here and your neck. Look up, lift that back, rounding here. Great job. We're going to come back in a neutral pose. We're going to start with some hip workout here. So taking that leg out, left leg out, we're going to lift up that right arm. Hold this for a second. Really engage those abs here. Great job. And we're just going to move those legs outside of your body and straight back. So we're going to move it away from your body back to center to center, away, back to center. Keeping the same height with that arm and leg. A few more times here, good job. We got three, two, and one. Back to center, hold it here for another breath. Looking straight down onto the floor, bend that left leg, flex that knee, and just pulse it up. Just little pulses here, getting a nice workout in the glute muscle. We got five, four, three, two, one. Great job. We're going to bring that knee back into the to the ground and from here we're going to take that knee up to the side and up and out to the side back and up working that lower body getting it strong here really focusing on those abs too keeping them engaged we got four three two, one. Great job, back to center. We'll switch it over to the other side, kicking out that right leg. Straighten that right foot, left arm up. Hold it here for a second. Focus on those abs, getting them engaged, pulling that belly button into your spine. Then we're gonna pull those out, away from your body, back to center, away center. Keeping the same height with that arm and leg. Good job. A few more times here. Really focus on this micro movement. Three, two, one. Back to center. Hold it here. One more big breath in, palm to the floor, bending that right leg. We're going to pulse that leg up, foot flex, knee bent, Let's pulse it. Great job. We got five, four, three, two, one. Back down, we're going to kick that knee up and out again like we did on that left side. So kicking that knee out and up. Really feeling it in that hip muscle and in your glutes. Kick it out and up. These are donkey kicks here. Great job. We got four, three, two, and one. Great job. 
both knees on the floor. We're going to transition into our plank pose here. Keeping those abs very tight. From here, we're going to go knee to chest. Getting that heart rate up, but also working the core and that lower body. Trying to get your knee as high to your chest as you can. Great job. Slow and controlled movements here. Building up those muscles. A few more. And plank pose. Here we're going to chaturanga. Look up. Upward facing. Breathe it out. Downward facing dog. Great job. We're going to take that right leg up. Take that one-legged down dog. Bring it in front of your mat. High lunge. Hold it here. Open up that heart. Open up that chest. And then transition. Remove your body so you can do high lunge squats to continue to build up that lower body. So bring your foot forward if you need to. We're going to up, bend that left leg. Squat it out. Great job. Keep going. We got five, four, three, two, one. Back into high lunge. Grab that left wrist with that right arm and just pull it to that left right side. Get a nice stretch in that psoas. Back to neutral. Transition up. Left knee up straight. Flex that foot. Bend it again and transition into that warrior three. Looking straight down, working on that balance and that core strength. Great job. From here, we're going to come back to that high lunge. Stepping up again. We're going to do this a little more quickly. We're going to step back towards the right side of our mat to a backside lunge. So back, left foot off the mat on that right side and step up. Really working on your balance here and building strength in that lower body. Palms can be at your heart. Great job. We got four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Just pulse that left knee up for ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Transition back into that warrior three. Really working on that balance. Good job. High lunge one more time. Stretch out that left psoas. Left hip. Palms to the floor. Plank pose. Chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Great job. Take a breath here. Left leg's gonna come up, one legged down dog. Transition that left leg forward into high lunge. Hold it here for a breath, opening up that heart. Great job, we're transition into those lunge squats. Bending that back knee, straightening both knees. Great job. We got five, four, three, two, one. Hold that down. Transition that right knee up, pumps the heart, flex that knee. Take it back, warrior three. Try to keep a straight line with that torso and back leg. Working on your balance. 
balance here, like the straight down. Good job. High lunge. Thumbs up. Step up again. We're going to step back into that lunge on the left side of our mat. And then step up. Great job. Doing curtsy squats here. Working on that lower body. Working on that core and that balance. Building a strong, stable golf swing. Just a few more. We have three, two, one. Keep that left leg up and bent. Just pulse that knee. Great job. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take that leg back. Warrior three slowly with control here. Hold it one more breath. Right leg down. High lunge one more time, stretching out that right hip, that right psoas. We're going to grab that right wrist with that left arm and pull to the left side. Get a little deeper stretch in that psoas here. Back to neutral. Palms to the floor. Plank pose. Hold that plank. Really engage those abs. Really pull them in nice and tight to your spine. Breathing here. Put that weight on that right arm or left arm, left leg. Great job. Side plank, lifting up that left arm. We lift that left leg up and just kick. Lift that leg up, little pulse leg lifts here. Really getting in those hips again and the oblique muscles. We got five, four, three, two, one. Left leg down. Just circle that left arm. Get some mobility, stretching in that left shoulder. Great job. Palms to the floor. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. I'm going to switch over, but come back into plank pose. Switch over to that left hand, left leg, or the opposite one you just did. Right arm up. Hold that side plank. Lifting that right leg. Just pulse it up. Great job. Little pulses here. You got five, four, three, two, one. Right leg down. Just move those shoulders. Move that arm. Nice big circles with that arm. All right, back to neutral, palm to the floor. Holding that plank. Just a few more breaths here. One more big breath in. Let it all out. Great job. Chaturanga, upward facing. Downward facing dog, breathe it all out. Great job. Five knees to the floor. Coming to child's pose. Take a few breaths here. Come on up. Come back to center. You guys did wonderful. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Um, do it as many times as you can and subscribe for new workouts, golf lessons to come. We uh, just want to encourage the game and encourage you to be the best golfer you can be. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.